Hey, good morning and welcome to another day of the video diary and how are you on this fine, almost fine day? Today I am walking to Le College for one of two reasons, perfect mainly obviously it's because I've got a physics exam, it's, it's the exam called the rise and fall of the clockwork universe which is the single most impressive sounding exam I'm ever sitting. And I'm feeling relatively confident for it. It's 50% mechanics, and I do mechanics too, so we do mechanics way above this level, so that should be easy. But then the other half is electrical circuits, which obviously feels less comfortable to me. I don't think it feels hard, but I think it, relative to mechanics, it feels pretty damn difficult. But that's fine. Um, also, I'm going in to Le College to talk to Reaper Graphics to see if they'll be able to bind my coursework because I'm getting the 750 page, well technically 1,400 pages, um, bounded. Hopefully if they can bind it for me. Because I'm getting all of those pages reprinted for my own personal copy of the um, coursework because my teacher wants to keep it as an example. Hello Mr. Blunt. Blunt. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm printing my own personal copy off at Le College. Um, because they want to keep the, my old copy as an example for like future years and stuff and I would like my own personal copy because you don't write 1,400 pages quarter of a million words and then just like forget about it so I want my own personal copy I'm going to get it reprinted but I don't want it just hole punched with a treasury tag in it and it doesn't fit in most folders I haven't yet found a folder big enough to house it house it so I'm going to see if Reaper Graphics can get it bound into a book for me um, even if it costs me some dough. Even if it costs me some dough, I don't mind. Else though, I'm now walking to the college for my exam. And I'm all excited for it, to be honest with you. It's not quite as fun as the other physics exam, but it's only an hour and 15 minutes long. It's my shortest exam. It's going to be weird. I'm going to be like, whoa, what's what happened to the last 15 minutes? Although everyone moans that physics is like too short. It's too long an exam for the time frame. And they're always rushed for time. But I never feel like I am touch wood like. But this exam is going to be my 10th exam so far. And once I've done this, I've only got three to go, which is extortionately exciting. And those three are Thursday and Friday as well, with a clash on Friday. So I've got enough time to prepare for those. They're the maths that I feel relatively confident for them. Stop thinking about other things, get in with the physics, bring your A game. Let's do this. Well, that was all right. Well, really, I never know what to think about those exams because they feel easy when you're there, but they feel like the wrong kind of easy. Like, you're doing it wrong easy, if you know what I mean. But otherwise, the, the exam, it felt alright. It felt like, well, it was one of the harder ones. It was definitely harder than the other physics paper. I'm not going to lie about that. But, at its core, it's physics and it's easy. So, I generally don't know how that went. But physics is done now. No more physics ever again. Ever. Because I'm not doing it well unless I decide to change courses at university or do like a computing with physics degree. And I'm not going to do any more physics anymore. Oh, how sad is that? If you notice, the vocal stress there indicated that it doesn't, it isn't sad at all. So probably not all that sad, lol. Um, also, I went to go talk to Reaper Graphics and ask them how many pages their binding machine can bind as a maximum. And I said, they said, oh, how many does it need to bind? I said, um, 700 to 750, I think it's something around there. Probably 700 and a bit. She goes, oh, well, uh, this is the biggest binding thing we've got. But if you double side that 700 pages, uh, no, no, it's 1,400 pages, so never mind. Never mind. So I've now got to go on some kind of hunt, a one day hunt for a, some kind of folder because I want it all in one place. I don't want to just hole punch it and treasury tag it because it's my coursework. I spent a lot of effort on that coursework. I want it to be like in a gold book, but I can't like redeem probably. Meh. Most likely I won't be able to get it published into a book. So I'm going to have to go for the next best thing, which is probably if I can't get it bound by like a proper binding company, which I'm going to go and Google when I get in, um, then I need to go out and find a folder. that's big enough to hold it, but it's twice as big. It takes up two normal size folders, so I don't know where these folders are going to have to exist. You know what's terrifying? That, that's terrifying. Mild side, side, mild side note as well, we've got new neighbours. They've been trying to fill that house up, it's been to let for ages, next door has. And it keeps going and then people come and then something happens and then they have to go. Probably because they can't afford it because only the people who only ever buy it seem to be relatively... Blah, blah, blah. 
without being snobby or anything like that. It's just Jesus Christ. Where do they find these people? It's like the kind of people you see from like the Jeremy Kyle show. You look at them, you're like, where did those people don't exist? What did they do? Just go out to like Newcastle somewhere with a big net and just reel them all in or... And people wonder why I'm running off to Bath. Grief alive, the respectability, Jesus. I mean, we already name like all of our neighbors. None of them are gonna watch this, so I can just say. Um, we already name all of our neighbors. Like there's the Dingles, there's the Clampets. They, we need to name them now, Jesus. Uh, gross. It's such a sc such a snob. You know what I mean? We try and leave, live a respectable life, just with a respectable house, with nice gadgets and things, and try and act all posh and all that, and then people like that just ruin the whole image of it. Because they're like, well, we live in the same area as you. <sighs> gross. Also, those two, lol, they would have been useful in my exam. But I chuffed him while I left them here, didn't I? Come on, I don't need that crap. Jesus. <sighs> Who needs them? I put them in my back pocket. I put them, then, put them in my back pocket, sat down to put my shoes on, went, oh, they're uncomfortable, put them down there, put my shoes on, walked off without them. Genius. But you know the best thing about finishing an exam, like finishing a course all together? First, I forgot to take my, my book back, but usually what I do is as soon as I leave the exam, I'm like, right, okay, take the textbook back. I don't want that in my house anymore, which is why the number of books up there has declined and all my folders have fallen over. Why do people still buy like matching track, shoot, track suits and think they look cool? Or like wear pure gray? Anyway, the door's open now. Look at this, look, this massive pa slab of paper here. That is a combination of physics and uh, Further Pure 2, because this is how much paper goes into a frickin' A-level. Right, and this isn't even, I've kept half of my notes. I'm like, oh, that might be useful if I start doing physics in university. Or oh, that's gonna be useful for when I do, like, the maths modules in computing. But no, no, pfft, pfft, straight in the bin. Also, I'm currently looking up um, different ways of getting my uh, coursework bound and stuff. And at the moment, I keep finding, like, companies and stuff online bind it for you instead of folders, because it looks like folders go up to 600 pages and I need 700 pages. So, I can't find a big, I might go out for a drive and just go to people like Staples and stuff to see if I can find a massive ring binder. But otherwise, I'm looking for a binding company. And this company here is like spiral binding. From as little as £3.43, I'm like, oh, that looks good. Go into it, and it will cost me to bind my 1,419 pages 486 pounds. <sighs> I just had to use my eye spray on my eye because my eye is all hay fevery and ugly. But my eye spray smells of donuts, so now I'm hungry. But ignoring the ugly eye, in fact, wait. Ha! <laughs> the real reason why I bought sunglasses. One, to protect my eyes from the sun's rays, especially when I'm on holiday. And two, to hide the fact that my eyes are really ugly when hay fever is in the air. <sighs> Well, I've been playing a bit of Minecraft on here, and um, that's been jolly good fun. I've been playing a bit of Minecraft. Um, I've been looking up places who sell um, folders and stuff, and they only seem to sell folders as a maximum size of size, I can't wear them in the house, of size 600, uh, 600 pieces of paper. And I believe that it's the same size as the folder that I've got now, which is just here, this great big massive one here, which I used before and it overflowed that and filled another one by half, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty damn freaking hard to get a bigger one than that anyway, so um, I'm going to have to just, I might go out, hopefully I'll be able to nab the car for a bit, go out for a nice drive and go exploring some um, big manufacturers of um, non-branded stuff. Since I've been looking at getting it printed and bound into like a proper book like the ICT kids did, because when the ICT kids got theirs printed, they got it bound in like a metal spiral, and I was really jealous. But theirs, um, they got to do free because it was relatively cheap, and my god, my eye hurts. But yeah, anyway, um, ah. And it was relatively cheap because they only had about 200 to 300 pages. Plus it was double-sided, so it was only about 150, so they could just easily spiral it. However, when I go onto any website like, oh, can I get mine? Spiraled, blah, 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 I want this, 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 this. How many pages? 750 double-sided colour pages, please. They spurt out a number at you in around the region of 500 pounds, which is ridiculously expensive. Essentially what it is, is a piece of paper. I will buy you the paper. Here's a ream and a bit of paper. And all you need to do is print it, which I can do, to be honest with you. All you need to do is slap it through your machine that just goes <laughs> So really all it is is the cost of the electricity for the machine the cost of thingy and then like a couple more to go into your back pocket. So I would give you 10 quid, 10 quid, and then that'd be fine. But no, 
500 pounds. My face is at 500 pounds. So that combined with the fact that it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to find a folder that's big enough to store my um, coursework in one big go, what I'm going to do is either go out tonight and get two folders, get two brand new folders because the other two I've got battered. Um, either get two brand new folders, get one great big one, and then I could have it all in one go, or have it, say like, before I start to programming, <clears throat> and after I start to programming, that's the thing I'm gonna go for. I reckon um, that's probably the best way to split it all up. Um, yeah. Else though, I'm just sat here, minding my own business, doing maths revision with the sun streaking across here. I need to upload yesterday's video, actually. I should really do that now. Write the description, and then when I go out to pick up the folders, it will be done. Genius. Um, um, yeah, I'm doing maths now and I'm revising, I've only got three exams left, so I've got Core 4, Mechanics 2 and Stats 2 to revise for, and, um, I'm burning through it all, but there is one thing that keeps coming up to me, and that is specifically the whole, um, what's my doohick with this thing. It's finding the point of closest, um, re return, repair the point of closest area from one vector to another vector essentially so I've just got to figure that out and then everything is fine and dandy way hey. um yeah so I've got my textbook down to revise that my oh my eye oh my god oh my actual god you are not going to believe this this is like the biggest fail ever Oh god, unless you follow me on Twitter, in which case you'll know what I'm going to say to you, assuming that you read that. Holy sh... Mother... Mother of God. Okay, for, so for some reason, and I don't know why, there is some person who's going back literally from day one and watching every single one of my videos. I don't know why he like, comments on every other one, but anyway. He's just commented on... <sighs> he's just commented... I've just got two emails saying that he's commented on... Uh, do, 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 do. On day, uh, the 18th of December, day 140, I then get another email saying he's emailed, he's commented on the 19th of December, day 140. You know what that means, right? Ever since the 19th of December, all of my videos have been one day out Every single one of them needs to be added one to. One needs to be added to each and every single one of them. Every single one of the annotations needs to change by plus one. Oh my god. But in other news, literally as I was checking my emails just then, I got an email saying that I've now got my 100th subscriber. Yay! 100th subscriber party. Woo! I would be more happy, but I've got to now go through and change... 150 video titles. Oh, so balls to use in Firefox. We're going to log in using Google Chrome, log out of my other account on Google Chrome, and then we're going to use a good browser to do this with. Get a mouse down, get some loud music on, get in the zone and do it. Balls to revision. I'm taking a day off, all right? This right now is more important. Panic averted, I think. Right, let me run this through you. And don't mind me while my leg has gone absolutely to sleep. Um, yeah, essentially, I realised that from day one, there was two day 140s. So it went, basically went 139, 140, 140, 141, 142, on onwards, right? That, that isn't good, which means technically that every single day after that was out, right? But then I realised that day 178, technically never got uploaded because um i say technically it never got uploaded lol because that was the day that i was uploading it and then my old hard drive thought it would have a date with the floor and then just smashed to pieces and then i couldn't get that video back off the hard drive without spending an immense amount of money which i wasn't prepared to spend just for one video so instead of adding one to every single day since day 140 and adding one to all of the annotations, I stopped at 178. So now it will go um, 1357 all the way up to the, this current date, and it jumps from whatever the date was. It will go, from, say, 3rd to 5th, continuing on with the days. That way now, I'm only counting the days, is only counting the amount of days that I've actually uploaded, 
which is 365, but this year's a leap year, so technically it's not a year until 366 days, but, oh, this is very confusing, on day 366, it's technically 365, so all we need to do is just ignore the fact that it's a leap year, and it's a year. Perfect, right? That makes perfect, perfect sense. I don't think I'm succeeding in explaining it, but it does, it works. Maybe I'll write it down in the description if I find time to. So yeah, essentially problem solved. Um, only a couple of the videos were all out by a day. I fixed the problem, lol. Else though, what has happened today? Um, I went off, I was going to, um, as a means of celebration, take you with me to go to some people to see if I can find folders and stuff, but father decided to come with me and then that the balls that up. So, um, me and father went out driving to go and get some folders and after asking what their largest folders were, we realized that they literally don't come much bigger than this one. Yeah, I'm out of focus, aren't I? Bloody camera. Right, yeah, um, they don't get come much bigger than this one, which is relatively big. It's nice and chunky. I think that's only a little bit bigger than my old one, but they do this one, which is nice and big as well. Uh, this one, which is a little bit bigger. I think it's like 10 millimeters bigger and that's about all. As tomorrow, very excitingly, I get to go back to college, reprint all of my coursework and all 1,400 pages of it and slap it into folders. So what I did was, I wanted it all in one folder, but I don't think that's realistic. So I bought the big folder in the hope that it would go into one big folder. And then I bought two relatively smaller ones and if it doesn't go into one big one, then I'll put it in two smaller ones, split it in half, and then do it like that. Either way, I get a nice system, and then either way, I get one spare, or possibly two spare folders to use for university and stuff, and the nice posh, nice ones, instead of like horrible ones that I've been using so far. So there's that, lol. Um, what else has happened today? It's been mental today. I really enjoyed this vlog as well. It's been amazing. I've, oh, it's been great fun. Um, what has gone on today? Tell me, what, what, yeah, okay, I've been getting emails from people from the space mission and things have got to go like clockwork now, um, they're properly kicking up the drive, we need to build the box that will store the camera and stuff, and we need to build it as soon as possible, and I go abroad, like next week, so I quickly emailed them like, oh by the way I'm going abroad next week, if I can't get this sorted before then, then uh, blah blah blah, we'll do it, blah 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 bang. Um, haven't run that through the blah blah blah, who's gonna do it? I don't even know who the blah 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 is yet, but I'll get someone else to do it if it, nothing gets done. But essentially what we need to do now for the space mission is, we need to build the box to put everything in it, we need to insulate it, blah blah blah, test it wet, by the balloon, by the parachute, by the, uh, we've got the helium, never mind. Um, then when that's all done, we advertise it to all hell and back, literally, Bang! Everywhere advertisements just until we're sick of promoting it. That's how much it's going to be promoted. So I'm going to whack it onto my Facebook. I'm going to make a Facebook event to get my entire year onto it. Make it completely open. You, you're welcome to come. Come on down. Just say you know me. It'll be fine. I'll write something on the blog. I'll put a video on the main channel before the actual day. Probably a week before. Oh, we are launching. It's going to be difficult for the next couple of days because I've literally got tomorrow and Wednesday to work on it. And during those two days I've got to do maths revision. Um, and then I've got the weekend to work on it, and then I'm abroad. I've got Monday and Tuesday to play with, but that's about it. So it's going to be tight, but it's going to be freaking well possible. And then if not, then I will throw someone reliable. James, I'm not sure if James is on holiday at that point. I've tweeted him because my phone's broken. Orange, bloody connection of orange. He's just like, eh. no, and there is a bloody SIM card in the phone. I've taken it out eight times. It hasn't fixed it. So yeah, there's that. Um... Yeah, essentially the space mission needs to be planned and ready to go within like a week. As soon as I know a finalised date, a finalised time, blah, 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 I will release it onto Facebook. I'll write, a, well, I won't write a blog post. Um, yeah, I'll probably write a blog post. I'll release it onto Facebook, write a blog post. Um, I'll write a video to film a week before the actual launch, just in case any of you want to come. It is an open event if you want to come down and... Not necessarily meet me, but look at a freaking space balloon. We've got 200 balloons, so we're going to do a balloon race with the 200 balloons. There may be, I'm going to try and swindle it, cupcakes for sale. <laughs> and um, there's going to be a big, massive balloon that goes up to space, and I'll be there. But no one, no one will come. None of you will come. I'm not going to expect anything. But if you do, the option's there. 
so yeah, there's that. The space mission is very exciting stuff as well. Um, is that all that's happened today? Also, <laughs> Jesus, I've been looking through computer websites based on the video that I put up the other day asking for advice and things, and people have warned me away from Dell. And I've, I've now agree, I've gone through the reviews and stuff, and the not brilliant reviews on the computers and everything. So I've decided that what's best is either look for another company, and I've looked at other companies and stuff like Asus is coming up, but Asus don't do desktops. Um, uh, some others, the one that someone linked me to, that came up as well. But it's literally custom building it is like the best possible option and then go through a website which comes with a warranty and insurance and blah 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 and I know which website to use it's just so confusing though it's just like I'm going down it and I'm thinking well what even is this I don't know if I need it or not and apparently you can build like computers relatively cheap but get like amazing computers for relatively cheap and I seem to just suck at that I just seem to get like two thousand pounds each each and every single time I do it so I need to get better, I need to go through and learn exactly what I want, exactly what I need, blah 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 blah. <sighs> so yeah, I think I'm going to go with a completely custom designed one from that website that someone showed me and I've forgotten their name. So yeah, thanks for that. Also, another news, I hit 100 subscribers today. Holy shiz, that's amazing. I've never really looked at the subscriber, well I've watched them recently as they started to go higher, but I never really started this video, this channel. Um, to look at the views or to monitor the views or anything like that and it's, it's I'd like to personally thank you all now it's incredible just how many people care I suppose I never thought anyone would because it, I've, I'm literally just doing this for myself is just to look back just to look back at this and just remember things so it's just heartwarming I suppose without getting all soppy on you but what's going on tomorrow tomorrow we are going with well I'm going down with father to go shopping to try and get some credit onto the phone he bought, the Paysigo phone that we're going to use for the GPS tracker because that still hasn't been sorted out yet so we're going to go and kick some faces down. Then I'm going to go to college, organise some things with the space mission, get my stuff printed and whack it into these and all the while doing that I'm going to be um, revising a mother ton of maths so I'm going to get myself up nice and early in the morning, uh, probably too early but hey ho. I've stayed up too late, I've got a very long day tomorrow and I can't afford to not do a lot of work tomorrow. Things are getting busy again. I love it when things get busy. It's been so boring recently. Stuff's ah all happening at the same time. Um, I've had a brilliant day. I hope you've had a brilliant day and you've enjoyed this video. Thank you again and I'll catch you later.